There's, there's some fun to be had. There's a little bit of a reveal. It's like you get given this tube and you're like, oh, there's a donair underneath. Isn't that nice? All right, we are back. We are in the gravy district at Burger Baron. Carlos and the boys hooked us up with a fat bag of donairs. We got Kareem, our partner from Cornerstone. This is his favorite place. He says Burger Baron's got the best donairs. It's pretty official. Halifax donairs. I just, we're an Edmonton people. We eat Edmonton donairs. So the fact that you claim to be Halifax just drives me it fucking up It says Halifax the on there, on the wall. It refers to it as a Halifax donair. So we'll see if it stands up. This is more beef. This is an east-west rivalry. But Jay's I already so. mad. I think so. Yeah. He's already mad. Well, let's go crush these let's do Halifax it. donairs. Two pack versus baby. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, we're sitting out back in the gravy district in the nation truck. Let's first get everyone's thoughts on burger. I'm relieved. We've been on such a dry run of walking into Donair shops and not having an Oilers bowl. You know, they had the little homage to, I think there was a sign slats saying said, thanks. Thanks for the wishes. best best wishes. Best. Thanks for the burger. There was a Garin. Billy Garen. Yeah. There was a Dougie Doug Waite. Waite. Love Dougie Waite. So they got signed Oilers memorabilia on the wall that was good they even went as far as to have an oilers burger on their menu oh it's fairly legit right it's a melbourton institution yeah. that's why up by red here that's why i find it so weird they're so adamant calling it a halifax don't know like you got a place that's just <coughs> extremely edmonton in there like all the 90s oilers like the gm so like this is this is an iconic institution like look at the building it's the same as it was in 1984 on both the inside and the outside and you know, the it can only be explained the inside is having like so much kitchen. That was the biggest kitchen I've ever kitchen, seen. Yeah. My only beef is that they call this a Halifax Donair. Well, I think the origin of Donairs in Edmonton is quite contentious. Everyone gets really passionate about Donairs in Edmonton. Um, I think I'm led to believe that this family brought Donairs to Edmonton. Came across the country on a wagon and a horse with the Donair with the. With the, yeah. Just the meat and the thing, and they brought it, and they were the first ones. Oregon Trail. When, yeah, yeah, when, yeah, when, yeah, type, uh, <laughs> dive, uh, dive diphtheria. Diphtheria, there it is. Dysentery. So this Dysentery. Is the first, this is the first ever Donair in the city. We're gonna dive in and see if it stands up. Okay. No, that's in your face. I'm no Donair expert, um, but I believe what separates a Halifax Donair from a regular Donair is no lettuce, right? No veggies. No veggies. No, they're oh. meat, cheese, and sauce. Okay. Yeah, they all have the gout in Eastern Canada. Now, going in early on this morning before I bite, we got meat right to the front, so I'm really happy about that. Cheese does not look melted. Pita is, can be described as mildly steamed, but we'll see, we'll bite. Well, first bite, and I got the first impression of a very strong sauce. Yeah, you have to have that sweet sauce. It looks like a, it's yeah. like a nice rug, ties the room together. Yeah. The sauce oh. makes it a going air, right? <coughs> I think I'm coughing because what we're experiencing is I feel like the pita inside is toasted. This is not a fully steamed on air, folks. That's got concern. Almost choked and died. There's kind of situation I like to bring uh, up here. And I like I need, I need someone to come in and ch check this out. And you see what's happened here. Is they've got wrapper overlap that's then overlapped and sealed by the pita. I was about to bite in and eat half wrapper. There's nothing more Edmontonian than having a don't air in the parking lot back of a pickup oh, yeah. tailgating. If we, if we just had like a case of cold ones, this would be like the supreme game day tailgating experience. I really like the meat here. Like, it's got like a certain spice to it. Like I said earlier, that it kind of like, it tastes like I've got like, like, a, like a burger patty. Like a nicely spiced burger patty making up the meat in my donair. And Burger Baron had the orange crush, which is always an essential. <laughs> orange crush goes perfectly with donairs. There's 7,000 square foot kitchen. Absolutely. Like I'm really pumped right now because we're in a situation where I've got a ton of meat. Yeah, it's good. nice, nicely wound, right? it's good. Yeah. good packing. Like it's good. But the one thing, I, 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 if I'm gonna, maybe I should save this for whatever re review. But like, this is, this is a pretty skinny donair. This, this almost rivals what could be described as a taquito. Who originated donairs? I have a tough time. I have a tough time believing that a you can just declare yourself the king, and b say you're the first one to bring it to Canada. I need, I need like imperial, imperial, empirical, empirical, empirical evidence. There it is. We're learning the English language today, folks. <clears throat> One of these days, we have to whip open a Wikipedia article and see what's actually. Where do these things? Where do these things? Look what I've got going on at the bottom here. 
there's like this huge pool. Now we're down to like the very good, the very gritty, which is just like a nice, wet, saucy, greasy pita with a little, with a whole bunch of meat left over. So I'm getting myself like the spice and I'm getting the sweet mixed in here. This is fantastic. All right, so I'll kick things off because I finished first as I always do. That is what I will say is a nice, compact, strong donair. It had everything that I like about a donair, things that are important to me. Good meat that's cooked well, it was warm. Good sauce that has that really like sweet flavor. But this one also had something unique, which was a very spiced meat. And I think that's a Burger Baron special. I think you had Carlos and the boys back there dumping some special, some special kind of spices on there. Maybe there was some gravy, I don't know. <clears throat> Whatever it was, but it was fantastic. This is one of the better donairs I've had on this tour. Every bite was full of something. So I'm gonna give this thing an 87. Yeah, I echo my esteemed colleague uh, Pam's sentiments uh, very nicely, tightly packed. What I liked was the uh, crispiness of the, of the pita shell. I think it gives it a, to each their own. Yeah, different uh, world of, of texture. I think uh, when looking at donairs, you always have to think about the layers of texture, and then of course, the centerpiece of it all, the sauce. Absolutely. Um, today, I felt it wasn't the best effort, but I'd give it a strong 82. Wow, you know what? I, 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 there's no bias there. That was like a legit, yeah, honest review. That was, that was all right, no homerism here. No, nope. Kareem is, is, is integrity it level is max. So clearly, this place is an institution. This drive through has not stopped being lined up since we've been here. You know, they've got an Oilers burger on the goddamn menu, which tells you that they're legitimate because they're allowed to do so. Uh, the Oilers wall made me feel good, but you know, I, I, I like the nostalgia. There's an experience to be had by coming to Burger Bear. So I found the sizing of this to be limited. Like, trust me, I'm not looking to eat a Jumbo Donaire and go back to work, because that's physically impossible. So I feel like, you know, this is a little bit small, undersized, scrappy. The meat was good, the spicing was good, I'll give it all that. The sauce was good, it wasn't consistent throughout the donair. The cheese I didn't mind, it was melted, but this pita, you know, I'm a, maybe I'm a traditionalist, maybe I'm an Edmonton donair traditionalist, I don't know who invented the steamed pita, but I am on team steamed pita. Uh, so I struggled with that, I almost died, I don't know if you saw me, if you caught that earlier, I choked on the crunchiness of, of, of the donair and almost been in a wrapper but that I can't blame uh, Burger Bear for that. The one thing I got to give Burger Bear props for is they hooked it up with napkins. They gave the, we left here with a bag of napkins, didn't have to ask for it, didn't have to look for it. Having said all that, uh, I'm going to give this a 79 and it's, it, it's all the ingredients are there for it to be good, just a few little tweaks. So would I come to Burger Bear again? Yes. So what do you think boys? Yeah, I think I would come back to Burger Baron again. I was impressed. I think they could change their name to the Donair Baron. Ooh, Ooh. that's... I would like to see now the Baron and the King fight yeah. and then the, for the Queen's affection. Yeah, yeah thanks for watching. Um, thanks to Kareem for coming out and hitting us up with this place. So everybody who's watching, thank you for watching. Suggest your favorite place and we will try to get to it. We're going to be doing this for years. Our goal is to get to every single place and find the 97 Donair. Awesome.